Hey everyone and welcome back. We are just going to start working on our home screen. So let's get started. What I'm going to do is I am actually just going to get another frame. Let's use the 13 Pro because that's what we've been using. So we're going to use home and then we can start with our assets over here. So let's get our header. Perfect, we have our home header already ready for us. Just gonna make sure that this has our layout grid. Looks beautiful. So I'm going to just throw padding in, in here. So I'm gonna use 48 pixels for like iPhones. That's looking good. Now this can, you know, come down in color a bit. And now we need this little section over here. So I'm gonna just grab some text, or no, I'm actually gonna just use our headers actually. Let's see, let's go back. And I'm just gonna use our featured header, perfect. That's working out really well for us now. And I am going to let's write just for you. And as you can tell, like, you know, putting these all together, we can easily just, you know, create some beautiful screens. Let's just keep on going on this home screen a bit. You can follow along and try to do the exact same thing. And then once you get the hang of it, I'm sure you will all be flying. So I'm not going to enter all the product information. Okay, there we go. 16, zero, zero padding on the sides. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna call this my card container. So you can also make like common recipes and recipes being that like components that often go together. Like you can make card containers that you can easily just throw in there. So I have a, this one, you know, we can go in and, you know, change colors. So this one can be like red. And then uh, this one, let's, let's pick a new image over here. This one can be purple. And then we can come and actually group these together. We can just say this is like a section or something if you want to be uh, semantic. And I think that's it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold Command or you can hold Control and bring that in. And then what we can do is I'm gonna we can add top and bottom padding. So we can do something like 16 for the top. Maybe we'll do 16 for the bottom and then we'll constantly just match them up little by little. I like that, perfect. And then what I like to do is, you know, just make sure everything's left and right. So that way if we do, you know, stretch things, things will work accordingly. So this one can be fill container. This one can also be fill container. So. So we can do that, looking really beautiful. Next thing we're gonna do is we are going to bring this down. So I'm option command or alt control. I'm going to actually now drag this out, going into my assets tab, and I'm gonna need the navigation first, and then we are gonna work on this deals and interest section. So. Let's just throw the navigation in there. And you can take a look at my examples and how I approached it as well. That helps you. So I did remove yellow from here and added text into my navigation items. So what do we got here? Now we have featured and we can have like a view all one. 
So we can go in here and write like deals, leave it as is, and then I'm gonna select both cards and I'm going to fill the container with those cards and I'm gonna switch them to the small versions. So at this point you can, you can add new, new items. I'm going to, you know, add some new stuff here. You know, at this point I can be like, okay, I just need to add some padding inside there or something like that, just so certain things fit because there's lots of different use cases. Sometimes this is going to be 16 pixels, 16, 16, perfect. I think this one, oh, this one's set to 22, oddly enough. Okay. And now we have this interest container that is pretty interesting. This, uh, remember to make that left and right and bottom and fixed for your navigation. That will really help you. So when you do move it, you can go doing something like that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, you know, just grab this whole thing. And I think the, the goal here for us is to definitely tone down this, this section. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that in, bring this out. We're going to use some padding at 24 pixels. And then we're actually going to maybe even more. And we're going to just fill this with maybe like the softest yellow like that, that looks much, much better. And at this point, what I'm gonna do, probably go into my base, and just have a view all, and we can write like my interests. And now we can go back into our navigation. I mean, we don't need to actually literally go into that page. It's just gonna punt us to that page. Where is my navigation? So what I need to do next is get the navigation like this that we've created as a component and get some list items and then we'll end it there. But this page is definitely shaping up uh, to be something really, really nice. So I'm just gonna use my arrow keys to guide those down. And now we can go ahead and you know write our options. So like we can have tech we can have something like reading. We can have like gaming. What else is there? Fashion. Maybe there's like music. And the next step is to take this card container, flip it around. I'm gonna press enter and I'm gonna take these cards and I'm gonna set them to fill the container. And I'm going to make sure my card container also has its, its hugging content. So then I'm going to swap these out, both of them. And I'm going to swap them out for the list item version. At this point, we can also like modify that list item version. It's padding a bit. We can hide certain, certain things like, you know, maybe we don't need the icon right now. Maybe we go in and, you know, maybe we don't need the review when we just have like you know, we can hide that. We can hide that as well. Have another one of these items. Maybe just only eight pixel padding. And, you know, we can put like our tech related items in here. So like we can have like a MacBook. We can have like a PlayStation controller. And what's another item? Maybe like a ultra wide screen monitor and there you go let's just turn off our grids so we definitely cleaned that up a bit and it's definitely not as overpowering as it once was but this is how we are starting to really clean things up and you know it this looks like definitely all part of one system whereas this one there's lots of different things that are kind of off about it and not really consistent so 
let's keep heading in the direction of polishing our designs.